Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to get great audio quality for your podcasts using the UR12 Podcast Starter Pack. When it comes to podcasting, one of the most important things is the sound quality of your voice recordings. The UR12 Podcast Starter Pack has everything you need to create great sounding podcasts. The UR12 audio interface itself, which by the way looks amazing in this new color, a high quality studio condenser microphone, a microphone stand, a pop filter, and all the necessary Necessary cables. And if that wasn't enough, in the bundle there's Wavelab Cast, which is tailored to recording, editing, and finalizing podcasts super fast and with minimum effort. So let me show you how you can create your podcast with the UR12 Podcast Starter Pack. So this is pretty much my entire podcast setup. All I need to do is connect my UR12 audio interface via USB to my computer so that it works with Wavelab Cast. The software and the hardware work seamlessly in synergy. The next thing that I like to do when I'm recording podcasts is set up my microphone on the stand and I want to make sure that I'm as close as possible to the microphone so that I can get a nice proximity effect. The proximity effect basically makes your voice sound deeper, fuller and with more clarity. Now the pop filter is a very important thing when you're creating podcasts and that's because it prevents plosives like T's and P's from getting into your recordings and ruining everything. So I'm always making sure that the pop filter is in front of the microphone and then all I need to do is use the included cable, go into the microphone preamp on the UR12 and then turn on the phantom power in the back because this is a condenser microphone so we need to power it. Now once I've done this I like to connect my headphones to the headphone preamp and just set up my levels. The next thing I want to do is get some healthy levels for my microphone and I can do this straight on the UR12. I can actually just turn up the gain and I want to make sure that the clip indicator here doesn't blink. But when you're using Wavelab Cast, you can also get your levels on the actual software when you activate monitoring. So now I'm going to get my levels and I'm aiming for around minus 10 to minus 6. Basically, I want to make sure that my loud parts don't go over the yellow area like this. Wavelab Cast has some really detailed metering so you will have a clear indication of where you are with your levels. Now, once I've taken my levels, I'm ready to record my podcast. All I need to do is record, enable the channel, hit record, and off we go. And I want to make sure that I'm close to the mic so I get the best sound quality possible. Hello everyone and welcome to the podcast. Today we're going to talk about synthesis, synthesizers and the different forms of synthesis. Now, once I'm recording my podcast, obviously I can start adding music, I can start adding sound effects, and Wavelab Cast has this amazing ducking feature where you can actually have the music go down in level when you're talking. So I can do this very easily. I can just activate my ducker here, set my source, which is my voice in this case, and I can play back my podcast. Hello everyone and welcome to the podcast. Today we're going to talk about synthesis, synthesizers and the different forms of synthesis that we can use to create sounds. And of course, I can even add sound effects and make my podcast more interesting. Now, the great thing with Wavelab Cast is that it's very easy to edit your podcast. So for example, if I wanted to get rid of this silence here, I can just cut and as you can see, I can close this gap very, very easily. And Wavelab Cast also does the crossfades automatically, which is a huge time saver. The other great thing with Wavelab Cast is that when you want to make your voiceover sound really nice and crisp, we have the clean and enhance effects that basically allow you to create a great sound for your voiceover very easily. I can just activate denoise, deessers, voice exciters, reverbs, EQs, and a maximizer, and this will give me a great sound really quickly. Now, when I'm done with recording and editing my podcast, Wavelab Cast gives me even the option to upload my episode to my favorite hosting service. So I can go here, upload episode, 
and I can choose any of these services like Spreaker, Podbean, SoundCloud, Buzzsprout, and Castos. In this case, I'm going to choose Podbean and I'm going to select my quality. I'm going to choose to encode the audio file and I'm going to set my episode name. And just like this, I can hit upload and this gets uploaded to Podbean. So there you go. This is how you can get great sounding podcasts with a UR12 podcast starter pack easily from start to finish. I hope you enjoyed this and you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and have fun.